All right, this is part two for the introduction to vectors. Quick little note. In the last video, we mentioned the horizontal and vertical components were A and B. Uh, so we're just going to expand that out a little bit. The horizontal and vertical components, respectively, of a vector U having a magnitude, right, there's a magnitude, and a direction angle theta are given by this. The mag A is the magnitude of U times the cosine of theta. Remember, that's like the X part, right? And B equals the magnitude of U times the sine theta. That's like the, the y part, right? So your vector from the last video, we had the vector u was equal to a comma b, right? So now all we're saying is that a can be thought of as the magnitude of u times the cosine of the direction angle. And b is the magnitude of u times the sine of the direction angle, okay? So if we know the magnitude and the direction we can f of the individual angle, then we can find the actual horizontal and vertical components, right? All right, so just kind of keep that one in mind. Now there's some operations that we can do on vectors. All right, so let's let A, B, C, D, and K just be real numbers. Let's define U to be the vector A comma B, and let's define vector V as C comma D. Then if you add the two vectors U plus V, that'd be A comma B plus C comma D. If you add those two things together, then that goes to a, the vector A plus C comma B plus D. So you have the two horizontal components of the vector and then the two vertical components of the vectors. And that's vector addition algebraically. Whereas the last video we talked about it geometrically. Now for part two down here, we have K times some vector U. Well, this is scalar multiplication. And the way it's defined to be is we have K times the vector, but you take the scalar and it multiplies both components of the vector. So you have KA and KB. All right, so for example, suppose u was negative 1, 3, and v was 5, negative 9. Then u plus v would be equal to negative 1 plus 5 would be 4, and 3 plus negative 9 would be negative 6. And so your vector would be 4 comma negative 6. What about, say, 3u minus 2v? Everybody do that one real quick. All right, so that's equal to negative 3, 9 minus 10, negative 18. And so when you subtract those together, you get, what is that? Negative 3 minus 10 would be negative 13. And 9 minus negative 18 would be 27. And that'd be your vector. Right, So, vector addition, scalar multiplication um, of vectors, N not too bad. Okay? That, that's going to be fine. All right, so some more terminology. It's called a unit vector. Now, a unit vector is just a vector whose magnitude is 1. That's it. Okay. Now, there are some standard unit vectors. First one we're going to talk about is I. I know it's I, but it's not the imaginary unit. So it's the vector I, and it's defined to be the following way. 1, comma, 0. Everybody agree the magnitude of I here, of this vector, would be 1. Right, the square root of 1 squared plus 0 squared, which is 1. Okay. And another vector, another unit vector, called J. And that's going to be defined as, any guesses? 0, 1. These are two standard um, unit vectors, right? I, the i and j vectors. All right, so for example, let's let u equal a, b. Then we could rewrite um, a, b as a, comma, 0 plus 0, comma, b. Everybody agree? A and B are just real numbers here. Then we could rewrite that as A times 1, 0, plus B times 0, 1. Remember, A and B are just real numbers, so we just do the reverse of the scalar multiplication thing that we talked about a second ago. And then we could say, all right, well, 1, comma 0, that's the vector I. And 0, comma 1, that's the vector, the unit vector, J. 
And so we've got this new notation, this ai plus bj is another way that your vectors could be written. It's the ij form of vectors. So if, say, u was equal to 3 comma 5, well, we could also write that as 3i plus 5j. Right? All, both these notations mean the same thing. It's the same vector. Right? So it's just another way, another form that you need to be familiar with, the little ij form of the vectors. All right. So um, I know, a lot of notation, different ways we can write um, vectors, but they all mean the same thing. You should be familiar with all the different notations. Um, I think the, um, the operations for addition and scalar multiplication aren't too bad when they're in their... Um, uh, algebraic form. All right, so uh, uh, that's it for for now. Uh, the next, make sure you see the next video. It's going to be on the dot product and some properties of the dot product. So we'll see you there. Uh, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.